Have you ever heard of Cliff Young? At the age of 61, he ran an ultra marathon and he didn't stop for five and a half days. He is basically the real life Forrest Gump. Enjoy the video. Let's go. Number four says, believe it's possible. Believe it's possible. Oprah Winfrey said, you don't get what you want, you get what you believe. Beliefs mm. are the it. And I'll tell you my favorite belief story. I met this guy, he just died a couple years ago, uh, he was 81, but it, when he was 61, he shows up in Sydney, Australia for a race that's 850 kilometers, a little over 600 miles. And everybody there is... I struggle to run two kilometers, let alone, what, 800 odd that they said like 20, 30, it's an extreme race, it's six and a half day race, and they're all dressed in their Nike, Puma, Asics, Reebok running gear, they're all looking pretty young and fit, and here's a 61 year old guy wearing Oshkosh overalls, a t-shirt, a baseball cap, construction boots, and galoshes, because he thought it might rain. <laughs> and they're all going, old man, what are you doing here? I'm running a race. You ever run a race before? Nope. You're starting with a six and a half day race? Yep. Why? I was free on my schedule and I always wanted to run a race. That's insane. The amount of training, for example, people will do even for a 5K run, a little 5K fun run, let alone the distance he was having to do and just to turn up and rock up because he had time on his schedule. What makes you think you can do this? Do you ever run a marathon? No. Do you ever have any training? No. Do you ever work with a coach? No. Well, I'm a farmer and I have to chase my animals around because I don't have a tractor or a horse. I herd them. Some days the storm's coming in and I gotta run over here and get the cows. And I, just, I might be out there for 24 hours. I think I can run. So the race starts and they all take off and they're, all, and they're really fast. And here's Cliff, like this. <laughs> they later dubbed it the Cliff Young Shuffle. <laughs> See, but Cliff had an advantage that nobody knew. Cliff had never had a coach, never talked to an elite runner, never understood anything about long distance running, had never read a book on it, never read Runner's World. And so he didn't know you're supposed to run for 18 hours and sleep for six. So that night when everyone was so far ahead of him, they went to bed, he was so far behind him, he didn't know it. That night he just ran He just him. kept going. And Cliff ran nonstop for five and a half days never sleeping, and broke the record by 12 hours. Christ. 61 years old. Just even imagine not sleeping for five and a half days. How did he eat? How did he, that, what did he do when he needed the toilet? Those are all questions that need answering. You reckon you'll make it all right? No worries. With this team behind me, I'll make it all right. Make it. We've been practically there now. But I'm fairly fresh. He said, there's a good sort around, I'll take her out, I ring. Do you reckon you'd be ready for a good sort when you get to Melbourne? Yeah, well, I'll have a bloody oath. <laughs> there's plenty down there too, isn't it? I'm going to have a shower in Melbourne, you know, and clean my teeth. <laughs> I have to clean my teeth since the rain started. <laughs> Couldn't find any water. Well, you, you start off on the black day, you don't know where it is. <laughs> you haven't got time, really. Uh, going to have a shower and a shave, and what's that other thing starts with S? <laughs> out of the three, I think. <laughs> three three things that start with S. Oh, shower, shave, and S H I T. Day five, more rain and 175 kilometres of solitude. A record is broken. Joe record. Demoralised, he's caught by Purden. By now, they're 50 kilometres behind, and Cliff is showing the stamina of a Zulu warrior. Well, he does stop sometimes to have a drink, though. Some yeah, milk. Morning, Pretty good, Lil. Still strong. Yeah. Come on, Tonight? Yeah, about uh, 11 o'clock, perhaps. Been about 11. Yeah. Second Melbourne about 11, I hope. Are they going straight through? Yeah, only stop now to get like this for the food and change shoes, that's better. Won't stop for long. Road rest, I don't think. No time to rest. And they thought they were coming up behind. <laughs> Got to go hard, it's need to keep them back. Well, why'd you go to the front so early? Oh, uh, I like the front position. I'd say I let them, the first day I let them run themselves out and then I took the lead at night time. And I've held the lead ever since. 
I don't mind the fun. If I get a good break, about yeah, you know, too strong. Yeah. 20 or 30 kilometres, you can sort of gauge it. You can relax when you get a good lead, and then when they start to come out again. It's not bad. You've just got a question. How is he physically, mentally, how is he able to do it? There's, there's, you know, the title of the video is Never Give Up. And sure, I get it. But how does the boss, how does his body physically not give up? Sometimes your mind can stop you giving up, but your physical body will give up because you've got no control of it. So, wow, no sleep. That's a big thing. No sleep for five and a half days. <sighs> Physiologic, physiologically, how the hell did he do this? Well, the other blokes have trained for months and done all the science. What's your secret, do you reckon? Oh, you just got to keep going, I think. Just keep going. You can't going. relax, you've got to keep the pressure on. You, you can't, it's not easy, it's a tough, it's a tough run. The pressure's there all the time. I love how calmly he says this is a tough run. Of course it's a bloody tough run. <laughs> oh man. What's, what sort of runner would you say you are then? Oh, I've got no experience. Born and bred out in the bush runner. <laughs> One of the old, old style runners. That's about it. No science. No, I just this now, man. Now, when I say elite sportsman, you automatically think of a 61-year-old potato farmer wearing gumboots, don't you? Wellies. Sometimes you have events that sort of uh, tickle a nation's funny bone or something grabs their attention. And with Cliff Young, it sort of it appealed to us on so many different levels. And he used to run in gumboots. He was the worst dressed sports person we've ever had. These days, of course, you know, Nike would have been there getting very special slick gumboots. <laughs> Cliff Young was, as his name suggested, young at heart. He embodied the never say die attitude many aspire to, but few achieve. What the interesting thing about Cliff Young is, is that he wanted to do it. And it was remarkable what he did. I mean, he didn't cheat, he actually did it. Oh, it's been a very tough run. The hills all the way, to here anyway. And day after day, Cliffy Young, the Cliff Young shuffle, and the whole nation fell in love with him. It's amazing. It's it's just incredible. Uh, I think from my perspective, because I am useless at running, I can sprint fine, but I cannot run. I, f I struggle to run two kilometres, as I said, which is nothing. And then there's this 61-year-old that, you know, <laughs> ran Sydney to Melbourne, and you think, how, like... No training, nothing. Just just kept going, didn't sleep. Wow, what an achievement. What an achievement. What an accomplishment this guy, uh, this guy did. Incredibly, at age 61, Cliff became the oldest marathon winner and he took two days off the previous Sydney to Melbourne race record. Do you think that you're going to make it all the way? Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm going to run all night tonight and I hope to finish tomorrow. Tomorrow night, sometime. And he streeted the field. He just ripped them wide open. Kept going to Melbourne. If they hadn't stopped him, he would have finished in Perth. <laughs> Cliff was awarded the first prize of $10,000. He promptly gave two grand to each of the five other runners and kept nothing for himself. Wow. An impressive and generous man, that Cliff. Cliff. That clearly tops it off, doesn't it? He didn't keep any of the money and he gave it to the other runners. Wow, what a guy. Would you do it again? Do it again. Oh, no, I don't <laughs> <laughs> Oh, brilliant. Um, what a story. As I said, it's like the real life Forrest Gump. I don't know how he did it because I physically couldn't do anything. I couldn't do anything even remotely close to what he did. Not even remotely. Not even 1% of what he could he did, I could do. What a man. Incredible story never give up thanks for watching guys remember like subscribe and i'll catch you next time